What is going on, you flying fadoodles? Listen, did you really think I wasn't going to play Battle Royale? One on 30, whatever it is. I have to play it. It had to happen, so I did. So today you're going to watch my first win in Battle Royale. Uh, this is actually my first game that I played today, and the only game I played today in Battle Royale. I played a little bit last night, but I couldn't get any wins. I always ended up in the top five, but no wins. For the win, I got 10k XP towards absolutely nothing. My Leopard is completely upgraded, and I have everything in the German tech tree for tanks. So I got 9,000 or 10,000 RP for nothing, which is pretty crazy to me. I think that's pretty cool. Um, just some quick strategies before we talk a little bit about what I thought, what I think is like a good way to handle it is run the edges of the map. It's kind of what I do in PUBG when I play, and if you guys know what PUBG is, PUBG is um, a battle royale game. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Post pen effects on Heat FS. Um, if you're wondering why I used Heat FS in this, is because I didn't have time to aim. <laughs> like in this, you don't really have too much time to aim, so it's kind of just down to the wire. If you watched yesterday's video and you noticed that it wasn't really a modern slick video, you know what I mean? It didn't have all that pizzazz that I'm used to putting in recently. And that's because I was playing basketball yesterday, the day before yesterday. So, um, no, I think it was yesterday. It happened yesterday. I was playing basketball and I didn't have my War Thunder video done. I went and played basketball for a couple of hours. Very early on in the session, the basketball session, I got hit in the face uh, with somebody's finger. I got poked in the eye, and I like it snapped my contact, so I can't see. I couldn't see, and it broke a couple of blood vessels in my eye and bruised my eye socket, like around the, the outside of my eye. I got very lucky here, by the way. I don't want to hear. Goddamn eye is six. Um, so. Yeah, my eye was in pain, and it, it's still sore. It hurts today, but I can play a little bit. But yesterday, I really didn't have the urgency to play at all. But instead of taking a day off, I had some footage from the M103 that was going to be a video. I have footage for like three game, like three tanks, three separate videos, almost done. They're all probably like 85% recorded, but I just haven't had the motivation to finish them just because like sitting down at the computer and forcing myself to talk and like, it's not what I do. I don't like to force anything. So instead I got Danger to come play with me and I played a little bit with Danger and we had a decent game. Or Julek, I think I played with Julek. I had one of the G-Side guys, I asked them if they wanted to play and they came and played with me. So thank you to them for helping me out in yesterday's video. And that's why it was just an M103 straight gameplay. Just because my eye hurt like a bitch. So, third thing, second thing, third thing, whatever we're going to talk about next. Um, I'm going to be live at some point today. I would urge you to go follow me over on the Twitch, the Twitch Twitch. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm going to stream right this second, but I'd like to stream some Battle Royales. Maybe a quick stream, maybe an hour long. Um, it'll probably be, I'll probably be live when you're recording this, or when I'm recording, or when I'm, when this is uploaded. Damn, when you're recording it. Don't record my videos, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think I should be live on Twitch when this is uploaded. So just be sure to hop over and check out. We're just going to do some Battle Royale, uh, play a little bit. Maybe we'll go against some viewers. I don't know. I mean, that's probably a, a recipe for disaster because people are just going to fucking um, stream watch me. But we'll see. Maybe I'll put a big delay on so people will not know. You never know. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys can come check that out. So Battle Royale, what is the game mode? It's a Battle Royale game mode, simple enough, right? You spawn in by yourself in a western standoff type, you know, every man for himself. Look at this, look at these cones, bro. How is that not killing that tank? It went past the dude's foot. It was like, nah, he's good. Um, so you spawn in and you're versus everybody and the object is to survive, not necessarily kill, just stay alive long enough to win the match. And that's what we do here. We stay alive long enough to win the match. Now, some people may have noticed I am the only 8.0 in this entire game, which is hilarious. Um, what advantages does that give me necessarily? Well, we know that the enemy tanks can definitely kill a leopard. It's not like I'm in a T10M where enemies can't kill me. but um, I have a faster reload than all of them. I have a 105 with heat FS and I'm faster than all of them. So uh, a little unfair and I think that did play a part in how I won because none of the enemy tanks really that I faced had a stabilizer. Let's see, I ran up against an IS-6, a T44-100, 
Uh, another T44-100. I think a Panther too. at one point. I just killed the T32. So it's, it's like... I don't know why I got put into this matchmaking. When I play again, I'll probably play 7.0 because it seems like there's more people playing 7.0 in lower tiers in this event, which would make more sense because you're grinding at some point. You don't really need to grind when you're at the top. Um, I might maybe I'll play like the Vickers or something. I think I think the Vickers would be a really good tank for this. I would I would urge you when if you play this, play a tank with a decent reload. Um, heavy tanks might seem appealing, but as soon as you get caught up and get shot, um, you're gonna go down real fast with the heavy tanks. Because, trust me, they, the reload and the repair times are going to just take forever. So I would suggest using like some of your best tanks, maybe even a premium uh, in this event. Because if you do win, you do get a lot of XP. I've seen people get 20,000, 30,000. Um, so I can only imagine if you're using a premium tank. I'm going to try it in the STRV and see if I can get a couple wins. Because I'm still grinding my Chieftain out. So um, if I can get a couple 30,000 win games in the STRV, I mean, who am I to complain, right? I know, I was Slick's actually grinding what in Tarnation. But yeah, I, I figured I would. So yeah, that's basically it about Battle Royale. Here, you see me uh, trap a T44-100. I know that he's in this corner here and he can't move out the back. So I'm just watching the front. If he decides to peek me again through the trees, or not the trees, the buildings, he's just going to get hit. I just had to drop some arty and I think he backs up to try to get away from the arty and I forgot I was there or something. Um, so then we're just going to camp in the park and play the map use the map to our advantage so we know that they can either come from behind us or in front right where we're looking so i'm just going to keep looking around i know two guys engaged over there and i thought there was only two left and i was wrong so there's a panther and a vickers mbt right now and i thought excuse me i thought it was just the panther so i'm looking just for the panther i'm dead set on finding him and i was completely wrong which could have been my downfall but the vickers mbt was also over there in a bad position. I've been getting coffee burps. You guys get that? I talk a lot for these post commentaries, and if I'm not like warmed up, man, I just get coffee burps. <laughs> it's a real shame. All right, so I'm gonna push up a little bit. I see that the panther died. Uh, I'm a little confused, so I'm like, wait, oh, there's one more left. Who's left? And I should check my scoreboard here in a second. Let's see how acute my memory is. Acute? Astute? I don't know. Check the scoreboard, you dingus. Check what's left. Because it tells you what everybody's in, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I was definitely, like, I, th I think there might have been an M60 in this game, too. But uh, I caught a glimpse of him here. Drive over. I see that I'm not going to be able to get that shot. Put a shot on the side of his turret. Gunner's down. Breaches is orange. Uh, we're going to reload faster than he could possibly repair his crew. And I'm going to put one on the right side, right near his ammo, and kill him. And that's the game. Um, that's about it. it. Took a while to finish this for some reason, like after I killed him. It took a while for the game to be like, hey, you won, mission complete. But other than that, I have no complaints. I think this was a great game mode for Gaijin to implement. I'm super excited to play more of it today, and I hope to see it around as like maybe a normal game mode. Um, this is this stuff's really cool. I, I like the I like game modes like this. You know, they're fun, fun events. I like it a lot. All right, mission accomplished. Five kills, not too bad. In 9 minutes and 15 seconds. I didn't play that campy that game. Uh, some games I did play a lot, like a lot of camping. But I think it's fun to just kind of run out and get her done. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, or want to talk about Battle Royale, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.